Hello, I'm going to show you an exciting tool called School AI. So currently School AI is totally free for educators. I do think they might be adding some premium features, but they've kind of been vague about that. So hopefully they keep it as free for us as long as possible. So School AI is another educational AI tool designed specifically for teachers, administrators, but also students. So School AI has several tools that you can access if you're wanting to use it for generators, kind of similar to Magic School AI and EduAid and some of those other ones. As soon as you sign in with your free account across the top, you have some of these different features and that's going to be under the tools section. So there are specific chatbots and generators here that have been trained for educational purposes, anything from creating a syllabi, lesson plan, course outline, behavior intervention plan, and all these others. And if you wanted to create your own generator, such as creating something for a newsletter, morning announcements, you could even create your own generator here and it will help you complete those tasks and activities. And it's using ChatGPT to do some of these generations. So it's using a familiar tool. So pretty awesome and exciting there. So that's one of the ways you can use it. But some of the other things that are really cool about School AI is under the Discover tab. It has some of these set up chatbots and really tutors for teachers to use or for students to use. And you can even create your own and set it up with some parameters so that students can use it to study, to get practice problems, and to hone some of their research and understanding of concepts. So here are some of the examples. So these give you examples for bell ringers and exit tickets. Uh, and then some of the ones that are really designed for students are some of these here where it's AP test prep. There are some literature ones that focus on teaching students and reinforcing some concepts from literature courses. There are some historical figure ones, which I have not tinkered with that one, um, which is interesting. And then there's even some that are focused on popular books. So there's lots of different ways you can use this tool and you'll use a link to get students into these spaces and they are set up to where they'll filter any profanities or things that students might be entering. And it's not just like a free chat space for students to talk with each other necessarily. It's for them to get some study support and tutoring on the side. So if I wanted to check out one like this science one, if I was a science teacher, I can look at some of these examples here, but let's say that we wanted to study um, AP biology, okay? And this is one that's already been set up for students and teachers. It was created by another teacher. So if I wanted to see a preview of what this tool would look like, I really like that they always give you an example. All right. So it's already set up. What do, I, what do I want to achieve? What do I want to practice? This would be really great for students to go through and look at maybe some of the concepts that they know they need a little bit more reinforcing, maybe ones from first nine weeks of school that are a little rusty. And they can set that as a goal here when they chat. So they can use their voice to enter those questions or they can type in if they would like. So the way that you would use this as a teacher is you would either favorite this space and come back to it, or if I click the launch button, this is the code that I would use to have my students go in and start using this tool. Now, it will ask the students to make their own school AI account, which they can do, but I would really encourage the students to enter in their full name so then you know who is using what. There's not a way to roster students in here easily on your own. So it's really cool. You can pause it. You can end it whenever you would like and continue to invite students via QR code or link should you need to do that. So if you want to create your own space, it is a little bit of a process to do, but you can do that as well. I really like to pull from the examples that are already here. This tool just keeps changing and getting better and better. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I feel like every time I sign on, there is something new. So if you're curious about this tool, give it a go and let me know what you think.